there's quite a lot of money in the bush if I have to of be course. honest. So viewers, uh, we are all the way in the vault uh, really well. and where we are is uh, Hojo. Uh, what's the name of this place? Hojo Agomlani. Uh, Hojo Agomlani. Uh, today is my first time of being here and <coughs> we came to see some interesting things here. So amazing. I was shocked. I was shocked and uh, uh, my brother is here. The gentleman you see here. The gentleman you see here. Ross? Yes. How is everything? How is life? Uh, not too bad, my brother. What's your name? I'm Renel Opoku Entry. Renel Opoku Entry. So that tells us that he's from the Ashanti region and he is in the Volta region. He's doing some marvelous works right here in the Volta region, Hojo, to be precise. And Ras, how long have you been here? Um, I would say about, well, getting to three years now. Three years. All right. The accent shows that Ras is spent some little bit of time in the States. Is, uh, is that right? Not really. In the UK. Right. Uh, I've, I've stayed in the UK for some time, but, um, right. but then. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think I'll come across like you pick an accent from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a proper uh, tree man. Yeah. yeah, but anybody that gets in, in touch with you would realize that you one way or the other stayed in the states before that. Right. Yeah. All right, so uh, back to the reason why we are here. Um, I realized that when we were coming, uh, this is my first time of coming here anyway. And they, they've constructed a road all the way to this place. And was that done before you came around, or it has been an initiative by you and your your, your team? Right, okay. Uh, well, when we came here, I mean, like, uh, to be honest, it was really, really difficult. Right. Uh, I mean, we, we, we have to pack our own stuff from the main, mm -hmm. you know, the immigration place that you, yeah. you came from yeah. um, here. So there wasn't a road there, no. We, we have to get that road done. All right, that's, ourselves. that's, yes. that's nice. Yeah. And I mean, I'm saying that the whole place looks like a forest, but then you've been able to, you know, turn the whole field. That should, it shows that you put in a lot of work, you know. Prepare this land. How many acres are we talking about here? Uh, we have 330 acres here. Oh my yeah, word. So it's a big place. 330 acres? Yes. And yes, is, yes. is it that you are using all the 330 acres for the corn or? No, 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 not yet. I mean, all the 330 acres, we've not actually started um, farming all of it yet, but we're getting to it. I all mean, right. So we are now second year in terms of farming itself. So oh, that's great. Um, I think uh, right now at the minute, I think corn this time, because last time I had a bit of losses. All right. We had about 102 acres okay. last time on corn alone. And um, we've now started cassava at the top. We have about maybe, I think, 40 acres or so of that oh, as wow. well. But, so we're getting there. We have about small two acres of mm -hmm. peppers, mm -hmm. those long peppers here. Yeah, we have that at the top here as well. Right. And um, we're trying different stuff. We've done okra before and stuff. I mean, we actually meant to uh, plant some okra. Okay. But then uh, we... We it's can't really trust the weather. We don't exactly, know what is going on. Because this weather is not trustworthy. Yeah. Kind of, so, and, and one thing I'm I'm also seeing is it's like it's like a community for you here already. I came, I realized you were reading, and which means that you reside here. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I, and do, so, I do live here. I have a little <laughs> uh, chateau here. All right. Um, and it's not too bad. I live with a uh, generator over there. So oh, okay. It's, it's that's why I was, I was about to ask that. Are you depending on solar or generator? And So, in terms of shelling the maze and other stuff you have machines around that you use for that so. yes yes uh, uh, uh right at the top there uh, mm. we recently i mean we've been uh, using a, a colleague's machine uh for some time now but what happened was we thought I maybe mean, we we do grow quite a lot of corn right. so we might as well get uh, one of those machines to 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 shell our corn for us mm. so i had to travel i mean i looked around online everywhere i wanted somebody locally that made the machine because I mean, the guy that bought this machine here, the machine is locally made. Right. We looked around and the only place we could find some was Wa. We went there, we purchased one. But ours is giving us quite a bit of a problem. But then mm -hmm. I think it's a work in progress. Oh, right, it, right, it, right. It, will, it will work. And that's fine. Yeah. So in terms of transporting the maize from here to the community, how do you usually go about that? Because I'm seeing the nature of the road and you've done your part but i think it's somehow bad again oh it's most definitely i'm mean, like like i said most things here are work in progress right. i'm mean, like we are quite far from from town i mean we're doing our very best with the corn uh what we do is we try to we have to wait for the weather all right so if you look at the top like, again you can see uh, well, uh a few months ago oh. uh, the corn that we harvested those corns are still up there mm -hmm. and then those will be shelled in time when we think that it's getting a lot drier all right and we will shell them. And then as we shell them, they won't stay here. We get them prepared. We clean them up, mm -hmm. get them prepared, get them into sacks, right. put the 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 
the preservatives in there to make sure that they, they can last longer oh, okay. and stuff. And then they, we take them to the good departments in Ho. Oh, okay. They will hold the, the, the grains for us. Oh, that's right. That's as as long as we want to keep it full. All right, that's and great. Then, yeah. So, meaning you, you are a group, you are a team, or it's a kind of company? Yeah, we are a company. Mm -hmm. I mean, the agri department, we, we, we pay them for them to start stuff for us. Right. But we are Bog Investment Limited. We are registered oh. in the UK. Okay. Uh, but in Ghana, we are Bog Investment Limited as well. Then um, a subsidiary of it is a Bog Farm. Oh, okay. So, which is here. All right. Uh, but we do have other uh, interests. Oh, if okay. I would say. Yeah. All right. So that means you have other interest in this, uh, you, in UK, right? In no, I mean, Ghana in here Ghana as well. Here. Yeah, so we do have only Volta region. Yes, yes, not just only water. Oh, wow, you, know, you guys are doing amazing well. We didn't farm any water region, but we do other stuff in the other right. places. All right, well. so right. what convinced you to you know come into farming and not to talk of your locality? You left your place, come all the way to the water region, and you are relaxed here doing your thing, yeah. and which is doing well to as well. What, what convinced you? Uh, I think probably what you get here yourself, you actually had the feeling of yeah. it. I mean, like when the staff are not around, which you guys you just missed because the, the staff just gone. Um, right. You don't hear no sound. I mean, like the only sounds you hear are the animals and things like that. That's one good thing just to bring you here. Uh -huh. There's no traffic moving around. That means that the air is clean. That's right. You know, so uh, so for that aspect of it, yeah, it is very good for me. Mm -hmm. um, business wise, uh, uh, it's just brilliant. Uh, you can see what we have here. Yeah. Uh, this this land is untapped. Ooh, it's, it's it's not being spoiled by anybody. It's not yeah, close yeah. to anything. You know, so whatever you grow on. Uh, just just comes as natural, mm -hmm. and the whole idea here is there's no other chemicals in there as well. Yeah. You don't have to put fertilizer. We don't have fertilizers in that, uh, as you can see. Oh. Them, there's no fertilizer at all. Natural. So, uh, uh, um, it, it is what it is. That's what brought us here. Oh, farming itself is something that uh, I've always been interested in. I've never done farming myself, mm. but I had uh, um, no my parents, um, my, 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 but my grandparents. They were farmers. So whenever we were in Accra. Then we'll have some sort of vacation time and things like that. We will be taken back to the yeah, farm. We we'll spend okay. some time over okay. there. And I was one of those people who used to enjoy those okay. times, you know. So yeah, it's it's always been in me. Oh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, that's great. I'm seeing that from your face and it's yeah. really, really enjoying it. And there's one thing I want to ask, and you know, in recent times, most of the youth in the country are trying their very possible best, you know, to leave the country because of the living conditions in the country, the hardship, not to talk of this year alone, when you look at the the DV lottery. The American living lottery, you realize that a lot of youths are engaging in they, they are registering just because they want to leave their country and then now they have time for which now they call it Japa. They, right, want to okay. Japa. <laughs> they want to Japa because the nurses are leaving, the teachers are leaving, the doctors are leaving. How about you have gone to the UK and you decide to come back home and come and do this? Well, for those who are leaving, I don't think they know what is there. It's exactly the same thing that's here, just that probably they've, they've sought themselves out and they had time to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. so. Um, I don't fit in there. Uh, in respect of all the qualifications that you get, um, you don't fit in there because you don't feel like you are home. Mm -hmm. You know I'm a Ghanaian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not from anywhere else. So if you found me in the UK, that means I travel there. Right. Or maybe my parents were, went there, gave birth to me over there. But me, I wasn't born. There. I was born here. Yeah, exactly. Um, for those who are leaving, uh, they are leaving because they are not being advised very, very well. Uh, I don't see they, they can think of the potentials of or the sort of place they come from. And then they, they don't actually know what the, uh, their environment is giving them. You see, most people are blind to what they can actually see. Exactly. You see, so what I'm trying to say here is, most of these people come from villages, but they live in cities before they get on board a plane. That's exactly what it is. It's not like from a village <laughs> to the airport. Support. They live in cities and that influences them. I mean, they think that it's just, just all there. But inside them, inside most of those people, mm -hmm. um, like our farmers, I mean, which they can just get, get back to the land and just get something out of it. I mean, that's how I see it. I mean, it doesn't matter how harsh ship uh, the system will just take you to. Um, it takes a, a little bit of sweat mm -hmm. to put corn in your hand, just a handful like that. And then just bow down and do that. Mm -hmm. And just wait four days and see what you can you can get out of it. I mean, look, so if they can't do that, they just shouldn't complain. I'm sorry, yeah, but yeah. that is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, or if not, you just go to the yeah, yeah. Europe somewhere. Yeah, but. so you're hearing from Ras and he said, because most most of you are not being educated that much about these things. So you feel like you don't want to jackpot like you, they are calling down. Because it's a term now. 
I didn't even know about it. I yeah. thought Depa was a snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a new term now. So uh, they were like, oh, you want to jackpot? So when you hear somebody say jackpot, that means they want to travel out of the country. They, right. Yeah, they okay. Like the hardship is. Yeah. So and that's one thing that interesting thing that we shared with each other. And myself, I'm surprised and I marvel because where you are, I also like environments like this. It was where environments where there's no noise. I'll be there because I like reading a lot. Like I saw right. you do. Yeah, so, I do. Uh, so. Uh, that's one thing about so i think we have to go to the other field right where we, we. Yeah. all right so viewers so we just came across something amazing here right and we've seen some bricks of beds here and um i'm realizing that they are very big huge giant and i don't know if they are foreign ones so ras the beds we seen. uh well this one's uh the, uh, the to normally what i do is i have a uh, mm. those foreign beds here right. i have two two a male and a female okay so uh, the 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 female then get cross over with the local ones. Oh, okay. And then those eggs are given to the local hens to to hatch. To hatch. Oh, okay. And then okay. You, you tend to have those ones. So you viewers, you, ones. you are just learning something new. Yeah, uh, those yes, are the so. ones that. Those... So I meaning, if I should go get a foreign bed, like you are saying, like yeah. I get a foreign bed, then um, I cross. They can cross the local ones. Yeah. Um. To to get it straightforward, you can get one that's young. All right. Um. But ones that are already laying. Meaning that the first eggs that they are laying, they're not fertilized. Eggs. Okay. They, they are naturally made like that. They can okay. just lay. Okay. Uh, but then when they come home, that there's a lot of these males around. They'll start okay. crossing them. Okay. It's a natural thing. They'll start. It will Crushing. start going on for months okay. upon months upon months, and then right. the eggs that will come out of it, they will hatch. So that'll be the result. That's what we're seeing there. Yes. yes. But the mothers, those hen, they won't. They will lay, but they won't be able to, you know, to hatch. They yes. So you then have okay. to pass those eggs on oh, to okay. some the, the other hens to. To hatch them for you. All right. So what happened is that uh, the first egg cannot be, cannot hatch, okay. but as you continue crossing them, it will hatch. Oh, so yeah. what that means is that uh, they will produce a hybrid, yeah. the interbreed between the local and the hybrid yeah. will be hardier, okay. and it will it will be hardier than that of the the foreign one he brought. Okay. And it okay. will, and the breed will be better than the local one okay. he used to hatch. We, we, to, to you understand? All right. I yes. Get it. All right. So, um, so viewers, you've just learned something new. So. And next time you want to have those kind of breed, you also have to do similar things. Then you get proper results. Wow. You learn a whole lot of things on this field today. So, all right. So, our viewers, you are finally aware like Ras was talking about that this particular cassava is not the one that you can consume until they pro uh, process it. You can consume it. So, these are the ones they use for, right? You can get ethanol out of these. They process, you get ethanol out of these. And you can use it for curry. You can use it for. I think you can use for cassava, Agbelima, Agbelima, yes, yes, so uh, you can use for Agbelima and Kumba. Like, in terms of oh, like Ankara, you know, Ankara is a type of uh, cassava that you can consume. You just cook and you, you know, you eat it. But this one, it tastes very bitter. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the it's as hard as yeah. a rock as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you will not be able to use this for fufu. So, unlike the Ankara. So, Ras, why do you decide to have this here separately? What is the brain behind it? Right, because um, it is one of those uh, uh, industries that we might want to go in ourselves. Okay. So we've planted quite a lot of cassava. Yeah. There's a lot here. I mean, like it goes all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. um, to plant that many cassavas, I mean, you should have to, we might have to have a plan to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So at the top here, like from November upwards, um, we, we plan to put up a warehouse over there. Okay. And then some small little factory okay. that we we'll try to process our own uh, gari. Oh, Especially wow. the gari and the, the agbilima mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah, we won't be doing it there. here. Okay. The ethanol, we have a company close by. Okay, that's Kartek Ventures. Yes, um, mm -hmm. that will be happy to have it. Um, there's quite a lot of interest in it to be with the exception of uh, um, Kartek being close. But there's so many other companies that would love to by there's so many companies in Ghana right now and that are doing stuff. I mean, like yeah. they're doing sobitol and things like that here. So, um, yeah, um, this is cassava is gold now. Yeah, it's true, cassava is gold. My summer, I have just two acres of cassava. Right, it's good, <laughs> not just two acres. Two acres is good now. <laughs> it's hard to yeah. you know, be a farmer. Yeah. I mean, you, you yeah. should be proud. We, yeah. I mean, farmers should walk around waving our, yeah, flags. our yeah. flags every so day. That, that's, that's, you, you, seeing you today is a sort of motivation to somebody like me. I'd have to say this on set so that people know that yes, sometimes it's good to meet people like you to take some sort of inspirations from you. Or so if you have decided to leave UK to come to Ghana, you tell a Ghanaian I was once in UK and I decided to come to Ghana to come not to talk of anything like farm, to live here and out of town. Then people will be like, ah, this guy is crazy, man. 
That's what it look and oh, normal Ghanaian. I think people. especially with the dread loss of my yeah, head as yeah, well. I mean, like so, the first few, I've lost it. Yeah, you know? like this guy is <laughs> well, crazy. But then, uh, as time went by, they realized, oh no, he's yeah, not lost yeah, it. The guy is. I normal. mean, like, it's, it's, uh, there's, uh, there's, there's quite a lot of things yeah, that yeah. is come here. Oh, I mean, we there's a lot of things that we we can do ourselves. Mm -hmm. But then I think sometimes we need some people to come in to tell us we can't do it. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it's one of those things. I mean, like I've done it and I've mm -hmm. done it a few years and I know it's, it's, it's possible. Yeah, and the more you keep doing it, the more you... Exactly. And like you see, we have a bigger land. So, yeah. I mean, like there's nothing uh, uh, mil, uh, uh, smaller here. I mean, like whenever I say a size to someone, it's like, oh, it's big. Mm -hmm. But in my head, I've not even got to the half of my land yet. So, <laughs> I mean, that's maybe... We plan to get it bigger. Wow. So every single year we're moving, we're yeah. moving on, we're moving on. All right. I mean, to that side there, mm -hmm. I mean, we missed it last time. That's yellow corn. All right. Five and a half acres of okay. that. That'll be going on. We'll mm -hmm. be doing that. That one through, we're putting a um, cassava through. Okay. With the help of Promise. Right. Because he helped us quite a lot. I mean, like, he's the OT around here. Yeah. The station officer. Yeah. For this area. Yeah, exactly. So what he does is, uh, with my land, uh, because it's on a slope, uh, Certain areas is here we've got mounds. Mm -hmm. So all yeah, the I wanted to ask that question that I've yes. seen there's some sort of mounds here. Yes, because cassavas are planted on mounds. But on this side mm -hmm. here, you see the, the soil is a bit different. Yeah. So then he advised that we can then just plant it okay. on the surface like that all as well. Right. So that, that's what that's what we've done. But then with the cassava, we went in big, we've done done very big. All right. So this this we seen here. How many acres are we talking about? We're here talking about I think on just this side it's about 20 acres or so. 20? Yeah. My goodness, <laughs> Rai is doing a whole lot of things here. So this is amazing. And this yellow corn is also about... Uh, that's five and a half acres. Five and a half acres. Yeah, but there's so more well. of that. Because if you look there, mm -hmm. on uh, on the 20 acres with the cassava, <laughs> okay. we've done some mess up there. If you yeah. look straight yeah, there, you can you see, see corn. Yeah. Right, so that corn is right on... It's a mess up just like we've done there. Okay. So it's also on the mound. We have the corn and the uh, cassava being mixed on there. Oh, right. And then not just here too, uh, right at the top, there's a group there who are working. I mean, they, I think okay. they finished working. I don't know, right. guys. Yeah, that also we have also a mess right. there as well. That 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 reminds me of the labor aspect of one question I wanted to ask you. So you talking about the group. So let's now talk about the labor aspects. In terms of labor, how do you go about the labor aspects? Uh, well, it is difficult finding. Um, very difficult mm -hmm. finding. Um, I mean, people that want to do farming. You know, I mean, like most most of the time, I will use a. Uh, People that already have farms, right. then, then that helps. But now we do have a team. We have a uh, we have forty member team that that mm -hmm. helps out all right. on all aspects of the farm that we do. There are certain jobs that uh, we have to get people from outside to come and help us do it. I mean, like especially with the mounds. All right. Yeah, we we, we couldn't do that. I mean, our guys from the north mm -hmm. they've been right. doing it for yeah, years. The so they're experts on that. Mm -hmm. So we we always call upon their help to for them to come in. Yeah. So a lot of mounds here. There's roughly about, I think, eighty-four thousand mounds Ooh. on this side alone. Mm -hmm. um, so, and each one of them has been done by a man. <laughs> this is quite a lot. I'm like, without the cassava, when you look at it, it looks like the land has been plowed. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, uh, mm -hmm. They do a great work. I mean, come on, without them, I couldn't do this. To be honest, oh, so wow. kudos on that. The, the, a whole lot of things went into the land preparation because I'm seeing trees all around because you have to chop down the trees. Yeah. And was it manpower or you brought in machine to in the chainsaw machine? Mm, we didn't want to cut too much uh, damage to the topsoil. All right. So that's something that we could have done. And a lot of people were talking about, oh, why don't you just move the trees off and stuff? But one, it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money to spend. I have to be very honest. It costs a lot of money to, uh, to rent one of those bulldozers to no, all right. push these things off. So we thought of going the ch uh, cheaper way, if I was saying. But right. even that wasn't even cheap. I mean, to buy, we bought a few chainsaw machines, oh. very good ones. And then we employ uh, about three or so uh, chainsaw operators and then we work with them. Every single low tree that you see here mm -hmm. um, has to be cut by a person. a person. And then um, it goes back into the land, I would say, because those logs are cut into pieces. Mm -hmm. And then and you can see, you yeah, can see yeah, here, yeah. they use that. They say they'll die back again. Mm -hmm. They'll just go back into the soil again and stuff. And people feel like they would have to use it for charcoal. No, you don't really need <laughs> to do that. I mean, like, uh, it's also another big work to do. Yeah. I mean, like, I didn't come here for charcoal, but I know, like, people do it. Yeah. But it's a, it's a lot of work to do. I mean, like, to pack the whole thing and then cover <laughs> that stuff and then wait for a few it's days to see hectic. if it's going to work. So oh, we don't do that. What we do is we just pack them into this. They, they will just rot and then get back into the soil. We don't just cut every tree, as you can see. Mm -hmm. We leave, we leave the very big ones. Oh, okay. So you see all the very big ones. We we left them. Even all these yeah, ones we, 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 we didn't cut. 
from so we will so, level. All right. So in terms of the workers, do they stay here as well? The ones the fourteen member team you're talking about, they also reside here with you or they do go and come back? Nah, it's only the security team that stays here. All right. I love staying here. So I have this here. We do have a lot of um full and problems. I know yeah. I, you know here for that yeah. but I have quite a lot of those uh, animals around. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, um, I was, I'm always with the staff in town. I mean, the last time you 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 came across before you got here, yeah, yeah I'm all. Uh, we have a, a, a bedrooms there right. in different houses. All right. We do have quite a few bed, uh, bedrooms, about seven or so, mm -hmm. in different houses there that we shared among staff. All right. Right now, I was living there myself, but when uh, we planned this sort of stage, I don't like to stay yeah, in town. The, I want the to be here. must be protected. Exactly. So I'm here with the security guards. Mm -hmm. I help them. I motivate them move around in the evening things like that when we hear the sound of animals and things like that so yeah, yeah. so when we're coming i i saw one thing and my cameraman was like why how did they manage to get the container there he was asking such a question that container came all the way from tema uh, directly all the way we have to follow it i mean like we have to take a, actually a taxi to follow it because the 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 guy had a mate mm -hmm. and then he said he didn't want to follow i was with my brother so we had to take a taxi to follow to bring it here so this road's uh it's a new road. I'm like it looks bad in some places and mm -hmm. stuff. Of course, uh, we've just been a year and um, more or less testing it to see the weak points and then we will top it up as it, as it right. is. It's a farm, it's a farm road. And it's bigger than as, as you can see, it's it's, yeah, it's, bigger. it's way bigger than it's big enough to have two cars yeah, come across. Big. But then because we're not using it that much, you yeah, know, it's I don't have a car. <laughs> you know, I have a tricycle up in a farm. So I might need a pickup one day, but not now. Yeah. I mean, like, pickup can plant like 40 acres for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't do that, you know. Yeah. But then we needed the road. So right. we have 1.6 kilometers of road. Okay. That, um, um, not all of it is good, but most of it is good enough for us to, I mean, like, to almost everywhere that we've planted something, there's a road there that we can pick our stuff and then take, take it out. To, oh. to, to wherever we need oh, to that's so nice that's so nice because folks we are still on Hojo land and uh this is my first time coming here anyway and seeing this and uh, this gentleman you see here is sharing a whole lot of things with us because um i know like i i stated earlier on i know a lot of people like oh like by this time they have to jackpot they have to jackpot but he is telling you that you have a reason, you know, you know, to visit your communities to make good use of the land you have in your communities because he's all the way from the Ashanti region and he's residing here, doing this here, has crops all over. We have cassava, yellow corn, and Charlie, just think of the fowls are here. Vegetables are all some here. Some goats there. Uh, some goats are uh -huh. Just imagine. So when you are here, you, are, when, you know, let me share this with you, right? Even as we are recording now, there is a bush peak. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I saw some meat there. So, Dali, when you are here, you enjoy. So, that, now, now let's talk to Tio. How were you able to, you know, locate Ras? Yes, like I said, mm -hmm. it's both home and farm visit. All right. So, yeah, I happen to know Ras through uh, Pizza. All right. Pizza. He's mm -hmm. my friend. And mm -hmm. then I think that the Ras got the land from Togbe Japa. Oh, okay. Family, so mm -hmm. because I know him in town, I decided to pay visit to him in the, on the third. Oh, that's fine. So, yes, because basically that is the the, the 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 nature of our work. Yeah, but you know, it's not every TO, it's not in, in the, every extension officer that feels like they have to visit their farm. I know growing up, we know of extension officers where they pose them at duty posts and they feel like they have to be at home. They organize some. I don't know if you can ask, you can relate to that. I don't know if yeah, you. Yeah, I have to be honest. Yeah, yeah, not all of them that will be here. Yeah, will be like sitting at home, it is a bush meat. Yeah, yes. so, so you know, you... every work is a calling. Okay. Yeah, so if if you don't have that in the field and stuff, oh, yeah, you are a farmer yourself, and you yeah, you yeah. have a few. Uh, I, I do <laughs> some small farming myself. Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh, oh, but that, that's nice. So that's nice. I I, I have to use this opportunity. You know. Uh, to congratulate you for all the work you are doing. Because had it not been you, I would never even be aware of what is happening here. Right. I would never be aware of what is happening here. So that's so thoughtful of you, so nice of you. So, folks, this man is doing amazing work. So we'll keep on sharing his content. When you need anything concerning farm, then you have to, you know, contact him. Then uh, Ras is also here. Uh, I think he has something to tell us before we go, or anything for right, especially yeah. for the youth. Right. That are jackpine. Right. Those what are jackpine. Right, okay. Uh, uh, um, well, uh, I don't know. I don't want anyone to take any offense from this one. But then, uh, you know, if if it's about traveling, then uh, even next month I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. it, but 
they, they should have a purpose of traveling. All right. Uh, whatever you traveling to do there. I mean, most of people are probably jackpying, like you said before. <laughs> don't know what they're jackpying to. <laughs> but you should know where you want to go to. Uh, if, so for those who are traveling, I'm not saying not everyone should be staying here or, or everyone should be a farmer. Uh, what I'm saying is... Uh, there's a lot of room for a lot of us to do this work. I mean, there's a few of us doing it now. I mean, we we can mobilize ourselves and the youth that thinks that they're unemployed. They're calling themselves unemployed, yeah, but they yeah, always yeah. want to be employed by somebody. somebody. Yes, uh, they should start thinking about that and then focus on something else. There's quite a lot of money in the bush, if I have to of be course. honest. Things that are looking very luxurious out there. I mean, they started from the ground somewhere. Exactly. I mean, almost everything. The diamonds, the golds, and stuff. I mean, like they come from here. Exactly. I mean, you know, yeah. so don't stay uh, out there and say, I mean, there's, there's, there's too much hassle going on. Wherever you are, if it's not going well, just like you said before, and I could read from you, mm. you should go back to where you come from. There might be some land out there. Yeah, could start small and then grow big, you know, and then you don't have to travel out. And if you're traveling out, you're going to better yourself. What I mean by that is going to maybe Germany, going to uh, farm festivals. You know, things like that. Not just traveling. I mean, like going to get festivals to get more knowledge yeah. to come back to your farm Farms. and then add it. Add it. And, you know, so those are the things that we are talking about. Not, 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 not too much. Yeah, right. But it shouldn't be jackpine. It shouldn't stay here. Should <laughs> stay. So, viewers, you hearing Ras, he said it shouldn't be jackpine. You should have a purpose of jackpine. She didn't just get up and feel like, oh, today I want to, you know, the people are going, then you'll be going through desert. And sometimes, you know, at the end of the day, people even die. You see your folks dying, the, the boats will capsize and cool, but still, you still want to, you feel like you'll have to go to Libya before you get to all these kind of countries you're thinking of. Your dream, they call it dream country. So I, I think do you, so, you have any, any so, other things so, to say? Yes, yeah, so people like this, if there is any means of support, yeah. uh -huh, so that they'll be able to, you, you've heard me said, yeah. he employed about 14. Of course. Permanent awesome. farm. Yeah. Uh, yes. I know a lot of guys who are casual workers from the community who come about 50, 30, pertaining to the kind of work the that they are yeah. going to do. Uh -huh. And that they, they do get a lot of daily bread mm -hmm. from, and, uh, apart from the community impact. The other day, they are celebrating uh, the Tesla Festival in their okay. community. Mm -hmm. And their company came to, I think, they gave 1,000 cities. Oh. That is enough. That's what we call community impact. So already wow. we are seeing their impact wow. in the community. Wow. That's already. So a great time. If impact. there's any other supports that the stakeholders or any other uh, mm -hmm. well wishes can give them, they have to come. Can, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. To add yes. to that, these are the people that need support. These are the people that need help because at the end of the day, if he has taught it wise that it's good you know, to come to this community to do this vast, to take this vast land, which of course I know they did not just come and just take it. They did not give it to, out to them. They did not dash it to your ass. No, 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 no. Pay yeah, for yeah. It. They paid for it. So if they should come and they realize how fertile the land is and they are doing this, that means they are bringing employment to the community. They are they, this road that they've been able to you know construct this 1.5 1.6 kilometers 1.6 kilometers road that they've been able to construct in the future is going to help even already is helping some farmers already oh, they yeah. are using it but when we were coming i didn't know where they have this road i don't know how we'll be able to get here and it's not every individual that will be willing to use their money their hard-earned money you know to construct road yes because i don't feel like i want to have a farm just think of your local communities where sometimes you have this footpath leading to our, our farms. Uh, usually, now now that we have chemicals, when you would want to go on do this, they come together like a sort of communal labor and they do clear what the they declare the road. But now everybody feels like, oh, who should I come and do it for you? Just to you know, come together to buy chemicals, to spray the land, they don't even do. Not to talk of use your hard-earned money to construct 1.6 kilometers road to your farm where you know that you are not the only one going to use it. Right, you are doing well. May God be with you. Those, those, who know, <laughs> those who know the history of Agomla uh -huh. will tell you that uh, it's not a small thing. Mm -hmm. Initially, before the before you 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 take a motorbike from Hojo mm -hmm. to the junction there and come here, <laughs> it's not easy. So, so now people get through here and yes. then go to the airport area. Yeah. Actually, you don't really, to the airport. It's actually quite shocking. So you see, as it is here, it looks like we are in the jungle. We're very, we're very close to a very lucrative area. Whoa. So behind us is a, a whole airport. Wow. Yeah, so to the backs of my land uh, is uh, Adona Estate. Don't make an advert for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> but then just right at the back there of his is uh, is the airport. So Ooh. yeah, oh, yeah. it's it's very important road. Oh, but last time I overheard somebody talking about the road leading from this side to the airport. I never knew this place. 
Yeah. Oh, that's great. So, Ras, thanks so much for your time. And I, I think uh, that will be all for now. And thanks so much. Thanks so much. So, if you don't mind, we'll share your contacts. Yeah, I would have or anything. Uh, yes, yeah, so like, especially for the youth. Yeah. We love to uh, know more about farming and stuff, how to start. Uh -huh. like, all right. So, we mind. will be sharing his contact with you so that anything you want from him, because he. Now he's mastering the craft, so he That's will be able it, yeah. to, you know, give you more education on that. Because sometimes you have to go through the thick and thing, to, you know, to be able to learn. So, Ras, once again, thanks for your time. And Mr. Promise, thanks to, you know, for helping us locate the Ras.